Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking all about double film bubblegum and what the community thinks of it. Quick one before we get started, if you like film photography and want to see more videos like this one, film reviews, tips and tricks, that kind of thing, then please do make sure you're subscribed to our channel and notification to turn on. Thank you so much. Double Film Bubblegum is one of the creative films that we have in store. These are brands like Double Film, uh, Revelog, Yodica, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about what a creative film is. I understand that it's not everyone's cup of tea, shall we say, um, and yet there are lots of people who absolutely love it. I fall definitely in the camp of, for the right reason, for the right time, this, these can provide wonderful, wonderful effects. So what are creative films? Well, here you can see uh, double film bubblegum, lovely canister, and then gorgeous packaging here as well. Now, of course, the clue is, if you flip them around, DX coded, you might recognize a bit of that yellow. The way that these films are built is that the companies behind them take well-known emulsions from big brands, they might be Kodak, they might be Fuji, and what they do is, in the dark, they take these color negative uh, films, unroll entirely the film within it, treat them in some way, again, all in the dark room, roll it back into the 35 mil, so you have a whole bunch of uh, these creative films then, package them up, make sure that it's clear what they are, Obviously do the quality controls to ensure that the testing, uh, that the treatment has worked, which isn't always as straightforward as you might expect. And that's how they come into being. So they are based on a traditional colour emulsion, but then they have a treatment before you shoot them that goes on top and that allows you to do different things. Now some of them have sort of imprints of shapes or streaks like some of the Revelog. Yodica have really bright, cheerful rainbow colours. Double film tend to have slightly more subtle tints that come through and bubblegum definitely plays into that arena. So when things go well with a roll of double film bubblegum, and we'll talk about what's most likely to lead that to happen, um, you'll get some really gorgeous tones, really beautiful purples, pinks, blues. If you look at the reviews on site, if you look at what people show on Instagram, they often talk about the lovely warmth, the sweet nostalgia that the film can provide to certain scenes, and they recommend in particular people shooting portrait landscapes and the reason for those in particular is because our brain knows what color people should look like they know the range of skin color from white to black and everything else you know where to expect white balance with buildings with landscapes you know what green trees are and therefore you can see when there is a difference things that don't work quite so well is if you aim it at sort of a close-up of a really vibrant color or you know a, a, a still life where you don't instinctively know what these colors are meant to be in which case your brain won't necessarily notice that there's even a, a specific tint the best results are achieved when you make sure you don't overexpose it because it's quite a subtle tint a huge amount of light will totally blow out any of the tint that you get there the second thing that often ruins people's photos and again you can see this in the reviews where people are giving it three stars they say often nice photos but it looks like a normal color film actually it looks a little bit like portrait often when when you see those kind of reviews or actually it's gone a bit green which is not what i expected and what's happened here is that labs or scanners have color corrected the tint out of the photo so of course this is a color negative so the tint is applied to the negative and what a lab might do or what a home scanner might do if it's trying to be clever and helpful for you is it notices what should be white balance and overrides the tint that it has and forces the film to remove the tint in the in the image that you have forces it to look more normal and sometimes goes too far and actually it comes out green or blue now of course the way to avoid that is quite simply to make sure that when you develop with your lab you tell them this is a double film this is what it should look like perhaps if they don't know and please do not color correct you can ask for uncorrected scan so just as the as the scanner should be able to, to, to invert the colors according to a normal color negative don't apply any color corrections similarly if you're scanning at home with an epson flatbed or something similar don't apply any automatic color corrections if you're using a dslr setup with either raw capture or jpeg it might be slightly easier because you were in charge of then inverting and you can make sure that it is a clear correction that keeps the lovely tints but those are the ways of making sure that you get a beautiful picture and as you can see from the samples that we've shown when these photos come back 
work well, they are absolutely gorgeous. So there we go, from my side, I think when I look at this, I definitely want to try some portraits, I want to try and find some landscapes on a, on a sunny day, obviously without overexposing it, but the light, the nice natural light will definitely help bring it to life. If I then just make sure we, we, we keep the exposure below that level that will lose the tint. I'm gonna aim it definitely at some of my friends and family um, from a socially appropriate distance, of course. And I'm really looking forward to what you guys create. So uh, Wonderbox subscribers, if you've shot double film before, please share either on Instagram or Twitter, let people know what, what works well in the past. If you haven't shot it before, hopefully this has given you some ideas, some hints and tips. Be careful with scanning is my main, main tip of the day. And I look forward very much to seeing what you guys create. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you're interested in learning more about film photography. We will review different films every single week. So please, as I say, subscribe, get notifications, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.